Okay. Do you do you guys suffer from any type of road rage? <laughs> uh, not um, really. <laughs> I I I wouldn't say yeah. I want to say no, but I know there's some yes in there. I'm very short tempered, but I let it go. Does that does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. you, I'll have I want to say motherf- I want to say no, but it's sprinkled with a little bit of yes. Yeah, that's, I feel <laughs> sure. like that's me. You cunt sucking motherfucker might come out of my mouth several times a day, but then it's but it's fleeting. It's like mm-hmm. you cunt sucking motherfucker, and then yeah. that's about it. Right, and yeah. then I go back to like. Sitting at the red light and waiting. Yeah, you, yeah. It's like short, short outbursts for me. And then, in the event that you like cut me off, or there's a reason that you need to get the horn, you get the horn for an obnoxious amount of time. <laughs> like if we're on two ninety five and we're like the, you're a couple exits down, <sighs> we're getting it, boy. Like, <laughs> like you are going to fucking be furious. <laughs> yeah. That's like my only the petty little thing. But other than that, yeah. this is th- th- okay. I, f- I kind of feel like you guys are getting what I'm getting at. And some would describe it as road rage. Sarah said it. I came home and I told her this and she said, Doug, you, can't, you suffer from road rage. And, I, and what it was, I got I got almost clipped in the rear end uh, of my of my new car. Which, Your new Veloster? Which of uh, my Ooh. Veloster Turbo, my Veloster Raptor, which I'm very protective of now. And uh, You call it the Veloster Raptor? Well, they call it that. So therefore it's that. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, Who's they? that's fucking Hyundai does that. <laughs> no, uh, oh. Sarah, my roommates, Sarah and Dylan, <laughs> Sarah and cousin Dylan. <laughs> Done. Stamped. That's Put fine. that in the books. That's fine. Uh, and it's, oh, do you, you suffer from road rages? No. And what I came to realize is that I think, in, in, what, Alan, you were describing this. I suffer from uh, uh, retroactive road rage. If you're a dickhead, I'm going to fucking go after you. I'm going to fucking d- d- fire on all cylinders to go and make you realize I think we're about to- that you were the fucking dickhead. But yeah, it, it's you. If you fucking cut me off, almost clip me, uh, honk at me when I'm being a say, I'm, I'm a safe driver. I, I drive to survive. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't take risks for the most part. If you go out of your way to be a dick to me, brother, you're gonna get fucking Dale Earnhardt Jr. And, and not, not in a nice way. You're probably going to get senior. I'm going to get the enforcer. <laughs> I was going to say the senior. Yeah. And it's, it, I don't well, know. I just, I felt when, when I was told, like, you have, you suffer from road rage. Why don't you just let it go? I don't know, because these dicks need to be told. Well, I think this might be the difference between me and Alan and you. Now, see, <laughs> Alan and I, I don't think we're overly animated with our rage. I think we just say, words and a, a vein or two might start to bulge from our temples. Now, U.S., there's some hammer fisting going on to the steering wheel. There's a lot of flailing. Uh, there's a lot of fuck yous and middle fingers and things of that nature that freak the people in the car out. So the people in the car are witnessing this and saying like, oh, this is a road rage incident right here. <laughs> But I'll say that true road rage would be you following an individual to their house, writing down their license plate number, maybe getting an eye on what address they live out, um, taking down in a journal um, all of these factoids, and then planning another day at another time to excise revenge on said individual. Taking, um, pictures, I don't, taking pictures of the car or some shit. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> learning their children's names, what <laughs> schools they go to and things like I don't think you're, you've ever ventured down down that path. No. So I won't say. The, 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 the farthest it's ever, it, it has ever gone is um, if said. <laughs> is a killed a guy. <laughs> if, yeah. If said person wants to engage in, in conversation. And by that I mean roll our windows down and. Uh, and chat at 75 miles an hour down the freeway. I've said, I think four or five times, do you want to go? Meaning, do you, do you want, do you want to find a rest stop and fucking, and go come to fisticuffs? Okay. Um, you're starting to kind of soil your own argument. And just, and this, this really comes down to like how willing you are to fight the other person. See, a lot of my shit, is kind of passive aggressive like it's said yeah. and if they catch me saying it like, yeah. like i'm not going to shy away from it necessarily yeah. but i'm not going to continue to be the aggressor or 
I'll get my ass kicked. I didn't know this. And I think this has to do with you being right on that threshold, being six foot, right around 200 pounds. That's the kind of human that has the ability to throw down at a moment's notice. You know, there's not a lot of people bigger than you. There are a fair amount of people smaller than you. Whereas where I sit, <laughs> there's a lot more on the high end than there are on the low end. So I guess I know my lane and I know to stay in it. <laughs> I th- but I think like it's it's never uh, you know it's never provoked it's never you know if 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 I'm on the wrong end of this if I've made a mistake if I've uh, inadvertently you know uh, thrown the turn signal on with someone in in my uh, blind spot I'm I'm usually like hey look man my I fucked up my bad bro I apologize and if they yell at me I'm like yep you're right you uh you 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 did that but i was about a week ago uh i someone someone blew a tire and and was slow to pull over and it was like a a a sandwich going down 97 break 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 about five cars and i uh i may have been trying to throw on some biggie on my uh on my phone and uh it was like oh shit and then um uh it it, it caused like a little bit of a, a little bit of a backup no, no, uh, no fender benders, no bumper rubbing, rub, no rubbing is racing type shit. And then, um, in an attempt to get over the guy who was behind me got over and then sped up and then got pissed off that, that most people were getting over and honked at me and flicked me off. I was like, yeah, yeah, you fucking fuck you, fuck you. And I, and I tried to catch up with him. And uh, oh. tried to tell him "fuck you, <laughs> fuck you" a few more times. He he drove way too fast, way too fast, more a lot a lot faster than I was comfortable with. The, the turbo couldn't catch him. Oh, uh, this is when I was in the accent. Oh, all right, that's fair. Uh, so <laughs> okay, I was just gonna this say, is why but, I bought the turbo so he yeah, catches fucks. <laughs> Wes, I mean, this, you're my man's in them, but. You don't have just a road rage problem. You have a little bit of a rage rage problem. And it's not like a huge problem, but you get mad and I get it. But like Mer said, you're you're very aggressive when when you get mad. You be, like I do every now and then get that aggressive like bang on some shit or like break something. Uh but yeah, you you get you get there often. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad. I, it's cool though. I don't think it's a problem. She should probably not follow people. <laughs> I will say bad, that. Like, listen to Alan backpedaling all of a sudden. No, <laughs> hey, look. I don't think it's a problem. I'm just letting you know that it's a thing that you do, and I'm also saying you should probably not follow people. Just okay. that's that's my my little last piece of advice because it sounds like that's where you went with your car stories <laughs> is that you follow people. <laughs> now, let me ask you, Wes, wh- what was your argument on this? W- were you denying that you have a road rage? Uh, it just it like, clearly was. It's just, it, it, pe- people with road rage give me road rage. People, people, aggressive drivers who think they can do no wrong, then, uh, you know, obviously people who are driving. This, I've always said that there is a difference between being driving fast and driving aggressive. You can drive fast and not tailgate and not cut people off and not, you know, and you can breeze through traffic. And I, I've, I've been in the car with people like this. Uh, listener, Kilby. Kilby drives fast, uh, but but at a point where he doesn't realize that he can't fucking play Frogger through through traffic. He just dials it back, takes his time, and uh, then goes. But then you get people, vroom, 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 and I don't know, it's just like they're going to cause fucking accidents. And the moment you cut me off... Fuck you. Fuck you. But, I'll find you. Then, <laughs> do you want to go? <laughs> do you want to go? I've only done that four it's, times. Yeah. <laughs> four times? What, what, I did what, two of that extra What highways once. were they on? Do you remember? Uh, three of them were 97, just going down to Annapolis. Once was a FedEx driver. Uh, I, I showed him the phone because he cut yeah. me off, basically saying, like, hey, I'm calling the whatever's on your bumper. How's my driving? And he he cut me off again, and I was like, I don't care where he's going, I'm following him. And I, I He'll didn't. stop eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. I did. To his credit, he he drove pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no governors on those babies. <laughs> yeah. Well.